I think there's a lot that needs to be said. Number one, these are, this is federal housing, and there are uh, there are requirements relative to income. You can't be above a certain income level and live there. You do have to apply. There is a screening process. However, uh, the city is still planning to tear down 1,037 units. Brewster Douglas now is a 55-acre uh, project. Uh, if those plans go through to tear down 1,037 and have and erect 250 new ones, there will be uh, something like only 20, uh, 20 of those 55 acres will be in use for public housing. You the federal government also has made it very clear that public housing can be used for homeless people. And once someone moves in, there is the there is the chance then, not only chance, but there is the reality of working out an arrangement with public aid. And in public housing, one pays only 30% of one's income. So for example, a person who's on disability and a single person and gets $300 a month would pay only $30 for rent. And one of the problems today is that there is not enough decent housing out there in the community you do that understand people can afford. Her concern, though, do you not? I can, well, the <laughs> let me put it this way: you will, because of the standards and requirements of public housing, there will not be. Uh, people moving into Brewster who will be dangerous to the people who already live there. Secondly, the city is still planning to tear down 1,037 units. The city council has approved a contract with a firm mm -hmm. that has analyzed and done the uh, preparation for repairs in housing projects in Washington, D.C., and in Boston, and they've looked at Philadelphia, and they tell us that Detroit's Brewster Douglas project is not only the same, but better than a lot yes. of the public housing in Boston, as well as in Washington and Philadelphia. Yeah. And therefore, it's a shame to tear down a thousand units yeah. when we desperately need it.